Ugh. These new recruits, most of them hired with the help of a $160,000 grant from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, are taking part in West Palm Beach Fire and Rescue's Fire Ground Survival Program. I lost the hose line. It's designed to get them out of tight spots they may find themselves in while fighting fires when there's no one else around to help. Go ahead with your mayday. Crawling under tangled wires. Chopping holes in the walls of smoke-filled, burning buildings. Squeezing through tight spots impeded by heavy, bulky equipment. It's frustrating and frightening, but it could save their lives. We have drop ceilings in commercial buildings. We have electrical wiring in our homes. We have furnishings. You get tangled up in those things, and you potentially run out of air, and you'll potentially lose your life in the structure. That's something 37-year-old recruit Coles Colas, a former football player and married father of two, doesn't take lightly. For me, being a bigger guy, it's, it's, it's hard to be in those tight spaces and not have much movement. So at times, you're going to have to bear down and get your, get your mind right and, and calm, calm your breathing and relax and wiggle yourself in the right position so you can get yourself through. Colas and his 22 fellow recruits are learning how to do that and much more during three and a half months of intensive training. They learned uh, what we call suppression or firefighting, which includes all of the hose work, ladders, tools, equipment. They also learn all the extrication skills, which would be the jaws of life most people are aware of. As EMTs, or in some cases, paramedics, they also learn how to treat and transport patients. They're being taught by seasoned firefighters with at least 10 years experience who know the ropes. That gives them confidence as they begin their new careers. Being afraid it never crossed my mind because I know they're going to give me all the tools that I need when, when the time comes. The recruits will complete a year of probation at various firehouses around the city. They'll be evaluated daily by supervisors and peers who are looking for certain qualities that make them suited for the job. A genuine desire to do the job and help people. Coles Colas says he definitely has that desire because while he thought playing football was a dream come true, to him, being a firefighter means so much more. Football, you lose, you lose a game and you go home, you know, you pout about it and that's the end of it. But here, if, if you don't do what you're supposed to do, somebody may get hurt and somebody may die and, and that's a big deal. This is Cheryl Kahn reporting for WPB-TV.